Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again with your April 2016 monthly tarot horoscopes. This is for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon in the lovely Gemini. And I got this bright green sweatshirt because I missed St. Patty's Day wearing green on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> so it's like really, really green. Um, it's intensely green. It's hard for you to see probably in this video because the lighting in here is not so good, but it's really, really green. So, um, anyways, <clears throat> and I was I was uploading videos all St. Patty's Day, so that's probably why. Uh, all for all for you guys. Um, so you know, I do want to say just so you guys know, you know, my calendar page on my website has caused me some issues because originally I, I created my website, um, you know, just sort of to have information for everyone about my private readings and the services that I offer um, and to have a calendar that has my availability. Um, it was never meant to be where people scheduled through my website or you know so it's not possible to schedule with me through my website. You cannot click on the calendar page and book a reading that way. The way to book a reading if you would like to have a private reading is by emailing me elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. In the future if somebody posts a comment it's just going to be deleted um, and I'll assume that you haven't watched this video um, and I may send you an email that says hey um, the way to book a reading is by emailing me Elizabeth Olson 31 at Gmail. Um, my website does not have that ability to book book appointments. Um, I may book readings a different way, but right now this is how I'm doing it. So um, the calendar is just there to show my availability, and the website is there to have you know show my pricing and my services and stuff. So, um, so I just wanted to be clear on that. So please do not post any comments on there. Um, it's just not the way to confirm or request any readings because um, I just I won't see it so um, <clears throat> so yeah and then the other thing too is there has been some confusion about my sex and relationship videos my sex and relationship videos are completely different I feel than these videos these videos I'm doing now my general these are my general readings that I do every single month the sex and relationship videos I started because I got a new deck the erotic tarot deck uh, the Decameron deck and I was so excited, I was like, I have to do these videos. But it became so challenging to keep recording, to record as much as I was. I kept losing my voice and getting sick. So um, I started to not do them as much. Now, I'm trying to bring them back because I'm renting them, but it still is sort of limited as far as how much, t I'm still limited as far as how much time I have to put into them. So there may be months that I don't do them. Uh, I'm trying to do them more though because I am renting them and it's more um, cost effective or time effective for me um, to to produce them and make them. So um, they're not meant to kind of replace these. These general readings are I'm going to continue as long as I can <laughs> um, and they're going to be available for everyone, free for everyone to watch and um, I want to keep them that way. But my sex relationship videos are different. So just so you guys know and they are for purchase only, rental purchase. You have to actually buy them in order to, to watch them. So um, I did create a trailer, I think it's like two minutes long for those videos, but um, that's not the the full video. So just, just putting that out there for you guys to know. Um, so, so this is for everyone with their Ascendant Sun or Moon in the lovely Gemini. And I'm just going to lay out a spread. I have been shuffling quite a bit. And I'm using my regular Shadowscapes deck um, by Stephanie Pui Moon Law. This is the Shadowscapes deck. Now you may be in a relationship with an Aries. It's interesting. There's a lot of prosperity and abundance to be had, I feel like, for April, for a lot of people. Um, the world card keeps coming up. I'm just going to show you. Um, and this is also psychic ability. So some people may be, April may be just a really great time for psychic um, awareness. Maybe we can call it psychic awareness month or something like that. <laughs> um, you also just may have strong Aries in your chart too. I also, the world came up also for Taurus. So you may be in a relationship with Taurus too. 
The world card usually is a person who has strong earth in their chart, though. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you may have, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn strongly in your chart somewhere. Um, or you may be watching this for somebody else. It's possible, too. Um, or it could be like a friend or a family member. Somebody's around you. Um, but because it's the foundation, the world is the foundation, is like the best foundation to have, aside from the King of Pentacles, which um, Taurus did get. So um, to me, this is like everything is at your fingertips. You have the ability to have everything you could possibly want. Um, I feel strongly that some of you are mediums. Um, I want to say mediums because you have the star card in the center. Um, and the star is also a card about, um, healing, but I, together with the world, I'm going to show you it. So the stars, the stars and the moon, the moon and the stars here, this is just a direct to me. This is the, the direct connect. Okay. You've got the hook up. You've got the, <laughs> the plug in <laughs> for, uh, channeling. Uh, some of you are psychics, maybe doing what I do. Um, to me, this is just a lot of psychic ability, um, and strong or medium ability, mediumship ability. Um, I get a lot of questions on how to develop medium, like be becoming like a full-time medium. And there's a lot of books that you can read about, you know, mediums. Um, my suggest it, my suggestion would be to, um, Maybe check out, you know, Barnes and Noble and see what they have um, as far as as books, um, because and also kind of having a mentor reaching out to maybe another medium or a psychic uh, that you know that does that kind of um, that can talk to you more about it and sort of gets you kind of on the right track. I people ask me all the time, <coughs> and I say to them. Um, because I'm psychic, I am psychic me and I have medium ability, but, and I can channel, I just, um, I'm more of a mentor for people more on the psychic side, less on the medium side. So, um, for those of you who are more on the medium side, I would say you need to, um, you know, check out some books that are out there. That's the, the best thing. And or reach out to somebody who does channel. Like they specifically, they channel, they talk to deceased loved ones. Um, and that's their focus. Um, my focus, I would say, is more on the psychic side, clairvoyant side. And I do connect with deceased loved ones, but in more of a psychic way. Um, so again, this is something that you're going to want to research and check out um, because there, I feel like some of you are kind of questioning these things and you're kind of wanting to know more and there's information out there. You just kind of have to seek it out. I had some, before I started doing this, I had some other psychics. I've had other psychics that I've talked to that have helped me develop my skills. So, um, and I do, and I would try, I do charge $75 an hour for people who want to learn more about and do like sign, kind of like work with them with their psychic abilities and stuff like that. I do that, but not on the medium side. I feel like the medium side is different. So just so you know, I'm just pointing that out because I feel like it's something that's coming up. But, um, so that's you in the center of everything. Um, and this is just to me, you know, it's strange because you have so to me, the world and the star, which is really, really strong energy, it's a beautiful, abundant, um, spiritual energy. But then you have this four of pentacles, which is the opposite of the world, okay? Um, the four of pentacles is being really concerned about money, not feeling like you have everything that you want, wanting more, hanging on to everything that you do have because for some reason you feel like you're gonna lose it. Um, or, you know, this is arguments about money with a partner or frustration and stress about money. Um, this is having money and then losing it, okay? Similar to, I believe Aries also got this. Um, there's some, there's some like rags to riches stuff here. Um, I do feel like for Aries too, it was like the same. Um, and Pisces too, I felt a little bit there because Pisces did come up for Aries. And I, when I think of rags to riches, I think of Pisces um, the most. Um, 
But this is, this is riches to rags in some cases because the world is the foundation. But because the world's a foundation, it is sort of prosperity is like coloring the whole, the whole picture. You just may be very picky and very like, you want more. You want more and than what you have. And um, you may also just be dealing with some like, a bad per like not bad person but like some someone who's just really greedy it may not be you at all um you may be dealing with an attorney because i feel like there's some legal thing here you may have some legal thing going on you may be an attorney um that wants more that just wants more and more and more and it's never really enough because to me the world tells me that you have again you have money you have a solid foundation you have pretty much everything that you could possibly want uh, but because you have the four pentacles, either you're not spending it or you want more or you're just paranoid. I feel like it's paranoid that you're not going to have any. Now, some of you really don't have a lot of money. Maybe you at one point did um, in the past. Um, maybe you had a job and, and now you, you're not working for some reason or you're, you know, you, you maybe you have your own business and it's sort of to decline. I mean, to me, this is the declining business in some cases. And it's stress and it's struggle and it's like, why is my business declining? And then, you know, you kind of tighten the purse strings a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And then suddenly it's like, there isn't really much left, um, you know, of your, I want to say there isn't much left either of your finances or there isn't much left of your optimism as far as your finances. Like it's sort of just like, you're just hanging on really, like hanging on for dear life. That's what I want to say financially. You're just really hanging on by a threat. And it's funny that I say it because you do have this card um, in the immediate future, which is the 10 of swords, which is, which is a lot of paranoia and fear. Um, and this is also the card about exhaustion. Uh, in this position, this is the cliff. This is like the, the, you know, going off the cliff and falling and then not recovering in some cases. So you need to be very, very careful about mid-April, what goes on mid-April. Um, I feel like because it's connected to the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Wands is arguing, uh, this is heartbreak for some of you. And this is so much stress and so someone who's vamping you, someone who's draining your blood. This to me is financial worries or financial arguments or there's so much concern. Similar to Taurus, again, you may be in a relationship to Taurus, you may have some Taurus in your chart. There's so much financial concern that your health suffers or you are just really suffering in a relationship that really, maybe you guys are financially struggling in a relationship. To me, this is both business struggle as well as relationship struggle. Um, and also personal struggle. I want to say personal. For those of you who are single, you may just be not have a lot. You may not have like two cents to rub together. And there's just not much there. And you're really stressed out. And you, know, you get into an argument with your parents if you're younger, you know. Or even if like, you know, maybe this is also a family argument that you get into um, as well. And... You're just feeling like you're just feeling like you don't have financial support. It's there, but like either you're not asking for it or you're paranoid. And it's your paranoia and your fears that are really blocking you. And as also, I want to say in some cases, a relationship, uh, you're blocking your your blessings are blocked because of your relationship. So to me, what's coming to me is there's, there's, there's relationships that people that come together and they have abundance and prosperity. And there's people that come together that don't. And some people would say it's astrological. You know, you can compare charts and this is chart compatibility stuff, which is, I don't do, just so you know. I'd refer you to somebody else. I have a friend who does that. Um, I, I do look at charts, but I don't do like chart compatibility. It's just not something that I do. Um... But I would say in this case, your your relationship, if you're in a relationship, is headed for um, the divorce, okay? You're headed for heartbreak or you're headed for a breakup. You're headed for something happening um, that's, that's major. This is like a major, major thing. For you to get the Tower and the Ten of Swords, these are probably the two most intense cards in the deck. Um, but it's also in the future, you're, to me, it's matching up with the Seven of Wands. And I pulled another card with the Five of Swords. So, you know, if I hold them up together, it's just pretty much going to give you the picture 
what we've got here. We've got this Ten of Swords, which is falling, you know, with nothing holding you up. And then just when there's nothing there, and when just when you think you have nothing left to lose, the tower comes and takes everything that's left, whatever's left. Um, the tower takes all, it, it basically is destructive. It's, it, it takes apart um, what you have found, whatever things holding you up, and there's nothing to hold you up, but say, you know, what do you have? Whatever you have left, the clothes on your back, it's going, okay? So to me, this is, again, <sighs> To me, this is a time of, of financial loss, financial struggle, financial worry. This is a time of legal struggle, legal battles, legal issues. Um, I'm going to say, I'm just going to come out and say it, Gemini. I feel like you have it rough in April, okay? Um, this is also fighting, you know, fighting a legal, to me, this is fighting a legal battle or fighting with a partner or having, going through a really messy divorce. Messy. I feel like eventually you're going to come to a settlement. You will. Um, but this is also, you may be divorcing somebody or um, there may be somebody that doesn't want to um, settle for some reason. Like there's somebody that's just like, will fight it out, will fight everything, fight for everything. This is fighting for like every single penny. And it's not worth it. To me, this is not worth it. Um, this is also like some major family thing that could be family crisis. This is the crisis. I see this as a crisis. And I also see this as, in some cases, um, someone that has a heart attack. I want to say a heart attack or some like acute health problem. And this is showing up for some of the other signs. Um, something that happens really fast to me that's a heart attack and the Ten of Swords to me is like someone who has a heart problem. So you may have a heart problem, you may have a stroke or heart attack or something that comes up really swiftly that you're not expecting. Now, I'm not fear mongering here. I feel like this is mostly, for most of you, relationship related. Okay? So this is the divorce. This is the divorce from hell. This feels, you know, you may have kids with this person and, you know, this person may not want a divorce. Um, you may be in a family that's very conflict driven. You may be, you know, your parents may be divorced or there may be some big upset that happens within the family too, like a family crisis um, where there's just a lot of fighting, a lot of fighting, a lot of stress. Um, for most of you, though, this is a relationship that comes to an end, like it needs to end and you will settle. Um, but after much blood, sweat, and tears, that's really what I want to say. Um, you know, and for those of you who are single, this is feeling unloved and unsupported. And then it's, you know, when things can't get any worse, you think they do where you may, you may be struggling financially, but then you lose your job. Uh, you may be struggling financially, but then, you know, there's a death in the family and something happens. Um, and you have to pay for a funeral, or you have to go to a funeral, or you have to, you know what I mean, deal with something quite heavy. There is a sense of, to me, it's a sudden, it's quick, it's sudden. It's something that's going to happen that's unexpected because that's the tower. But also, I feel like in some cases, it's like... <sighs> It, to me, it's just a fight, or like it's just, this is a fight. This could be even like something that, like it's almost like a bar fight. You might get into like a bar fight or something intense like that. This is something that happens unexpectedly. It's like unexpectedly the shit hits the fan. You know, to me, this is the shit hitting the fan. And you may have been going through this. You may have already gone through this, but I don't feel that way. I feel like this is something that's finally things are going to come to like a breaking point. There's going to be like a major showdown. Okay, mid April. Um. You know, this is to me, this to me is both job loss and divorce, okay? Job loss and breakup, okay, with a partner. Um, they're both present here and things come like that at the same time. Or this is like, to me, my guide is showing me a time where, you know, I had just, I had just moved and I was living at a friend's house and um, 
I basically was, I, I quit a job. I was forced to quit a job because of some crazy situation that happened. And the same day, my the person that I was living with, I, I had just moved there, was like, you need to leave. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, well, my mom doesn't want you to stay here. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, it was the, it was the double whammy, you know? So to me, this is a double whammy. This is two things. And again, it's not surprising because this is Gemini, you know, where two things happen. So this is maybe finding out you have to move and job loss, or maybe finding out moving and struggling and stress and, you know, something else happening in the family that kind of stirs, stirs it up. This is also speaking, being careful of someone who's stirring the pot. I want to say if someone has stirred the pot and causing conflict. To me, this is unnecessary conflict, although for the most part, I feel like, again, it has to do more with divorce or breakup relationship related. I don't, I feel like it's less house related. I think there's maybe like a few of you who are going to have some heart problems. Maybe you already do have some heart problems. To me, you, you've you probably known about it for some time. It's not going to be a surprise to you if I tell you that. Um, and for some of you, it's like the double whammy uh, where there's like some kind of job loss and as well as a breakup or divorce. And it's going to happen at the same time. And in a way, it's going to feel very like intense or heavy. Or you may just have a lot of problems at work as well to me. I feel like this is work issues. But there's such a strong legal vibe. Either you work in a law firm or... Um... Or both, you work in a law firm, and or and or you're a lawyer, and or you have you're, you're getting a divorce. You know your partner files for divorce, and suddenly it comes out of the blue. So it could be your partner files for divorce, and then, um, you know, you lose your job. You know, and if you work in a law firm, that would make sense. Or if you, if you are a lawyer, you know, you may be going through a divorce, and coming trying to come to some settlement there. It's just to me, this is. Things are going to come to some resolution, but it's going to take time. It's going to take some time. And it just may be very intense at that moment where you're going through it. Um, then, you know, Gemini always pretty much gets the Ten of Swords. Somebody who's very, like, overwhelmed, you know, gets overwhelmed very easily, is always kind of drained or tired because they're overdoing it. They're doing too many things and they don't really put limits on themselves. You know, this is where you're overtired, overdrained, and you're not paying attention. Like, maybe you fall asleep at the wheel and you get into a car accident. I feel some of you, this is like an accident. You know, something that's not, you're not expecting to, um, which would be, you know, an accident because you're overtired, because you're very drained. Um, for the most of you, though, I feel like it is, you know, if you fight with someone, like, if you're overtired, you may have, this is like the breaking point. This is the snapping point. This is like, don't get into any arguments with anybody if you're overtired, you know, or if you're overtired, do not get the back, you know, behind the wheel. You need to stop. Um, I think that's the message here. Despite all this crazy stuff, if you're going through divorce, you will come out of it with some money. There will be some money that comes out of it. Or you just come out with a perspective of real abundance. Because you got the Queen of Pentacles also. You may be in a relationship to a Capricorn, oops, another, another fruit, fruit fly, a Capricorn, um, Virgo, or um, Taurus. You know, you may be divorcing that, or you may have some Capricorn, Virgo, um, or Taurus in your chart somewhere. Um, and this could be you. I feel like it's less you, though. There may also be, like, a pregnancy thing, too, where, you know, you get pregnant unexpectedly. Boom. You know? You may be paranoid, also, of um, getting pregnant, too. Um, I do feel like it's a, it's a messy divorce, though, if you're going to go through a divorce. I feel like it's messy. Um, I feel like you're going to come out of it with some money for some of you, and for others, you may come out of it with pregnancy. I don't know how that's possible. You may be, okay, so, so this may be what happened. You may be pregnant, and, you know, your partner files for divorce, and then you find out later, you know. It could also be, in some case, where there's something, some major trauma has happened, um, and you're just kind of working through that process, but I feel like that's less you, I mean, there may be a few of you that are going through that, you know, it could be where, you know, you, some, some, some kind of trauma happened already in the past, um, and you're kind of working, th working it through, but for the most of you, it's, it's immediate future, so mid-April, it's a crucial time, beginning of April, mid-April, um, 
your one saving grace is that the universe is going to send you enough energy to get through it. So you will have energy. You are going to get back. Um, you're going to get your fire back. You're going to get your power back. Okay. Once this divorce or whatever happens, um, you may also end up not talking to your partner after that. Um, there, to me, this is like when you got the two of swords followed by the nine of cups person, this is having wanting a relationship with someone or trying to communicate with someone and not not it's not happening okay the nine of cups is usually someone who wants their freedom so what's going to happen is is you know gemini you're going to get out of a relationship if you're in one and you're going to be free and you're going to feel really really good about it you're going to be like oh god whew, like <laughs> you know major relief um but the thing is, is if you try to contact your partner, if you don't close the door, um, you may also have some Pisces in your chart. Because to me, the Nine of Cups person is a lot of times Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But um, you know, if you're, you may, you may be that person that doesn't really close the door. Like you may have this major breakup or divorce, but for some reason, you still see, you know, or some. It's you're, in my mind, I can't see how you're going to want to be with that person. But I feel like there are some of you that are going to question that decision and you're going to still like, in a way, you're going to still love them. And you're going to have to close the door to your heart and say, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. No. Uh, and put your foot down. If you don't, then you got this nine of cups, which is the freedom that you're wanting and the prosperity and the money that you're wanting. Um... You're, blocked, you're blocking your blessings again. To me, it's also involvement with someone who's married. So to me, this is a messy divorce because there's some involvement on someone's part, whether it's you or your partner, with somebody else. So this is wanting somebody who's emotionally unavailable, wanting the married man or the married female, okay? Um, and wanting to be with them and, or wanting them to be free, waiting for them to be single. But this is just a mess. To me, this is a mess. Um, I feel like if there's a person that you want, it, even if they're going through divorce, I feel like it's not going to happen in April. Um, I don't feel like you're going to be with that person because the universe has blocks, has blocked from that. So you're not going to be able to communicate with them or there's going to be some kind of issue where they are rejecting you or they don't see it working out. Um, you may not see it working out. You may have some Capricorn in your chart and be very guarded with your heart and be like, okay, I don't want to go forward in a relationship with that person, you know? Um, you need to move on from this person. I feel like it's blocking your blessings. Say, okay, let's just say you were, you were involved, if you were married, involved with someone else, they, in a way, I want to say want a relationship with you, want it to be committed, committed to you, but they are blocking your blessings because of your involvement. I want to say because of your involvement with them. Say you're, say you're the person that's involved with someone who's married. That person's also blocking your blessings. And it's just going to lead you to heartbreak. To me, it's heartbreak. To me, if you are the Gemini, though, that's going through a divorce and you aren't involved with anybody else, um, either your partner is or there's not going to be very, there's not going to be any communication with this person at all. It's a, it's a bad, it's a breakup where the, you get the ax from somebody, where they don't talk to you. Um, I lost my train of thought. I don't remember where I was going. I was saying, I was saying unhappiness. The Five of Pentacles is heartbreak. Um, to me, this is, you know, this is a mess. It's hard for me to totally make sense of it because the Two of Swords can be in some way like seeing the potential with someone. This is your attitude, leaving your heart open to that person. But really what you need to do is move on. If you are the person that's holding out your heart to someone, they are saying no, it's time to move on. And the tower came in for a reason. Okay. Um, so for, for a lot of you, you're going down the road to trouble. You're going down the road to having a relationship with someone who isn't either available or isn't um, re reciprocating your feelings. And your blessings are blocked financially because of it. 
So anybody that you're involved with in April, you need to really wash them out of your hair. That's what I'm going to tell you. Um, bottom line. If somebody is interested in you, um, you need to wait for that wait to be single. You need to go through the process of divorce. You need to get a divorce before you move into a relationship with someone else. Before you, you know, and you need to trust that divorce is going to be the best thing for you. If you are, if you are in that process of having a major, I feel like this is a major fight. You may get into a major fight with your partner and not be divorced and still want some kind of relationship. You may try to reconcile. No. The universe is just going, it's just going to end up being bad. I can't see how you would want to stay with a person that, that, that you have such major tension and like explosive. They, it's like they're a trigger for you. It's really, really negative. Um, why you'd want to be with that person. Although, you know, people do it all the time where they, you know, somebody beats them up and they stay. It's, it's easy to, and I'm not judging you here. It's easy to say from an outsider's perspective, just leave. Um, but ultimately, you need to make the decision to, to do it um, because it's going to be the best thing for you. And if you are involved with anybody who's married, they're blocking your blessings, okay? And if you are um, the person that's just hopeful and still waiting, oh, I, was, I know what I was going to say. If you are holding out your heart to someone or trying to communicate with someone and they're not having it, don't try to move forward. You need to stop that. Stop communicate, trying to communicate with someone who's who's brought the curtain down, who said, no, this is not going to work out. No, this is a no-go. If someone has told you no, or if someone's ignoring you, that's your sign from God, from the universe to move on. Um, that's what I see. That's, that's the main thing. So, um, I'm going to pull one last card here. It's interesting. you got the two of wands, which I feel like you've gotten before. This is a strong career card. Um, hopefully for those of you who are watching and you are single, <laughs> uh, and you know, you're not totally to have to this video, turn this video off. Um, this is really positive, especially for those of you who are single. Um, this is one of the career cards and the two of wands, because it's a two, um, you know, I do think of you, um, a lot with it, but to me, wands is also fire energy. So you may have some fire you know, so Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart somewhere. Um, but I think of it as a great career card. This is getting to a point where you've arrived, you know, working and working and working, and then finally you reach that point. It's a great point in time where you've really gotten somewhere in career. Um, if you weren't so busy, I want to say, wrapped up in drama with relationships, you actually, your career would really take off. And if you are single, your career is really going to take off. Um, in April at some point, okay? You're going to get to a point where you feel really satisfied with it. I feel like you're going to get to a point where it's just very, I would say, lucrative and positive. So um, this is also the real estate card. Some of you, you know, who are in real estate, this is a really positive card, okay? Um, but I would be very careful, though. Um, any investment type stuff, um, your blessings are blocked because of your choices in relationships. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, and kind of go from there. So that's all I have for right now. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing to all my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will be back again with more videos. Um, so stay tuned for those. And I send you guys big hugs like I always do. Big hugs, big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care. All the best. Bye.